Good evening in Boys High School Hoops. 17-0 Langsburg was at 16-1 Freeland. They were down 9 late but scored the last 15 points to win 72-65 behind 53 points from Xander Woodruff. But closer to home here, the CAAC Blue Conference race, it slows down for nobody. Waverly had to get right back on the mat after a crushing loss Friday to East Lansing for another rugged league game tonight. The Warriors at the moment in third, two games back of the Wolves. With three more league games to go, it was a wild game. Late third quarter, Wolves by five make it seven. Brandon Walton inside to Nick Grabarunas, who had a nice game, 17 points. Okemos by seven, heading into the fourth. Under three to go. The lead is just two. Cavandre Pena ties it. He had seven, We're tied it up at 55. Under 10 ticks to go. Walton missed a free throw. Would have put Okemos up three. Back came Deontay Pfeiffer. Nice move inside. Ties it at 59. So Okemos back the other way. They had one final shot to win it. Walton at the horn, no sir. We have free basketball tied at 59 going to overtime in the extra frame. Christian Chu puts down his only three points of the night. They were big though, put the Wolves up three, but Derek Thomas came alive down the stretch for the Warriors. Two of his 16 put Waverly up for good the rest of the overtime session. Waverly goes on the road, bounces back nicely with a heck of a win in overtime, 69-65. We have a saying that winning is undefeated or winning is, winning is underrated. And so uh, just this win gives you a different feel, lets you know that your work didn't go for naught. You know what I mean? And so their effort all through this year has, uh, is paying off when you can win a tight game like this. Across town to East Lansing Trojans, 8-0 in conference, hosting a pesky Holt team. And East Lansing's B.J. Windham's going to open things up, finds Cam Hudson off the inbound to the wing, and he gets that to go. That was the first lead of the night for the Trojans. Then it's Windham again with the steal and goes back the other way for an easy two. Three-point lead early on for the Trojans, and then K.J. Torbert fakes out the defender, drives, drops it for Christian Dunn for two more. Trojans go on a cruise in this one, 65-56 at home. They're now 18-2 on the season and rolling. Same matchup, but on the girls' side, East Lansing's first year head coach, Troy Brooks, who came over from Holt trying to take a down her own squad. Fourth quarter, EL up three. Sophia Klinger finds Ariana James for three more. Lead was extended to seven at that point. And then it's the Trojans, Sydney Black, defense to offense, back the other way. That put the Trojans up by 11 late in this one. And then one more time for good measure, it's James splitting defenders and finds Andrea Island on the block, who puts that one in off the window. East Lansing goes on to take down the Rams. 67-57, still his life for top spot in the CAAC Blue. Just behind 9-0 DeWitt with still three league games left to play. And